Okay, YouTube. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the 300 watt solar panels that come with the Pecron systems. Uh, so this is the package as it was delivered. Flew ble few blemishes here or there, but all in all, it seems okay. So hopefully things are all right with it. Um, so I'm just gonna make an incision here. that inside let me take this thing off for a moment I don't have anywhere to put you right now so I'll be back okay so inside the first box there's a second box that looks a little bit nicer um, nothing in the way of damage here so you can see that there's been no real intrusion to the, um, the box itself. There might be like a tie down kind of situation right there. But other than that, uh, not much to see. There's, you know, a tear there, but slight imperfections. Uh, there's that. I just lifted this thing up and this thing came up and kind of ripped out a little bit. So has these tabs to pull up so um, maybe comes up this way yeah it seems better so that's one that's two this part up and uh, there they are so seem like they're pretty thin um, got some uh, cushioning so there's even more protection on the inside here from uh, being in contact with anything so yeah, that's what it looks like inside the box. All right, that's, uh, it has a handle right here, so that's nice and easy to grab. It's, so this is what it looks like coming out of the box. So that is, that is the package. Um, this is like a fabric type thing on the outside um, and then there's a zipper here with uh, I guess the connecting ports there's a magnet that like you know seals it shut here um, and then here they are so it'll unfold like a, like an accordion type situation um, so there's that, um, oh, this is the stand, these are the stands for it, so it comes off and just kind of hangs in the back there, so it'll lean in a certain direction, so I'm gonna, uh, see how much cordage I have here, so, um, so there's the cordage, that's the manual. So it comes with the user manual and, uh, and there you go. Um, 
I'll set it up and show you what it looks like when it's set up, okay? Okay, YouTube, so whenever I have my solar panel connectors, I make a slight modification to the connections. So uh, there's the male and the female connectors. So when the male edge right there, let's see if it focuses, the sharp edge um, right on the outside right here where my fingernail is, um, when it goes in and latches to this section right here, it's very hard to come out. Now, Pecron did something cool where on their connectors, they have a section where you can do a quick release. So you have a quick release right here. But I noticed on the other side, it doesn't um, on the one that comes with the charger stock. So what I'm gonna do is make a slight modification here. Let's see if I can show you how I do this. Um, and it's gonna be kind of rough. Um, but I, I get uh, some kind of like a file. So I have a file right here. It's kind of this part of this multi-tool. But I have a file and I just put a little, a little bit on that edge. So I get a little bit of that, that edge off. So it doesn't seal, it doesn't lock in um, as much as it normally would. So you're probably not able to see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm getting some of this edge off right here. I put the file on that and I just get some of that edge off right there. Um, I do the same thing on both sides. So. I'll be back after I'm done because you're not seeing much right now. So I, you can see right here I shared off a bit of the edge so that when I press it in it can actually release. It's still going to lock but it's going to release without me like destroying the thing in the process. So all right. So this is the setup. I have this sitting in a kind of box. <laughs> Never mind that. Um, these are connections so that's the one from pecron you can see it has a built-in release situation where this one does not have a release situation so that's the one that i filed down and it still makes a great connection it's locked in there um, but i can actually release it with my fingers um, it comes it goes through um, my door here and then it runs out to the solar panels. So now uh, the system is not on. I'm just gonna put the solar panels in the sun and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe you'll keep an eye on that. Is that gonna work? So the system woke up and it says that it's charging at 244 watts. I didn't turn it on, it's just doing its thing. So that was a relatively easy setup. So again, it's there, it runs through here. Um, and they're flexible solar panels, so they're really thin. Um, got these things going on back here. Um, I guess the only thing I wish was uh, that these things would be somewhat invertible because I'd like to have that section closer to the RV here. But um, all in all, I think that, you know, this is workable. So that's the situation we're dealing with. All right. Um, that's the solar panel unboxing and first hookup here it's a somewhat cloudy day uh, so we'll get some suns and some clouds and uh, we'll see you know how much we get off this thing but um, it's at 72% it says right now it's at 72% um, it's kind of late in the day 230 watts um, so you know for a system 
it's doing all right. It says it's gonna take three hours to get a full charge at this rate, so. All right, I'm gonna let it do its thing for a while. Until next time, keep on rethinking. Remember, if you uh, like this kind of stuff, then you can subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment, and you can like this video as well. All right, till next time.